A Summit County woman is bravely sharing her story tonight. She was a victim of assault and an attempted carjacking earlier this week. But this mother and grandmother says she wasn't going to let the thieves get away. With carjackings on an upswing here in Northeast Ohio lately, she tells our Jesse Schultz she's speaking out in the hopes of getting those criminals off the street. She's surrounded by nature and serenity. But Missy, who doesn't want to share her last name, is replaying in her mind the chaos, the what ifs of last night. It could have been worse than what it was. He he probably would have shot me. Akron 911, what's the location of your emergency? Just around 7 o'clock Wednesday evening, she was driving home from work on West Market Street in Akron when she noticed a dark SUV with tinted windows following her. He was close enough that I couldn't even see the front plate, and that's what really was starting to make me wonder why is he so close to me when she hit a red light on market somebody came up to my car with a gun and one in my car tried to take my car from me the man hit her with the gun screaming to give him her car i just reached down as he was reaching his hand into my car with the gun and i pulled out the spray. I hit the clip and I made sure that I sprayed him. He got back into the SUV and took off. She says police got there within minutes. They were like my big brothers, like we're here now, it's okay. Because during that time, I was pretty distraught. And she's still upset. Just looking at the barrel was, was very devastating. I called my daughter and I just wanted my grandbabies and I just wanted I just wanted to see everybody and I just I just, just want my family. Missy says despite it all, she feels lucky because she walked away with no major injuries, but she wants everyone to be aware of their surroundings when they're driving and parking their car. And if you find yourself in her position, she says it's better to give up your car than your life. She'll feel better when the criminals are off the streets and has a message to people victimizing the community. I'm mad. I'm mad that you tried to take something from me that I worked so hard to pay for. No, you're, that's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Get a job. Reporting in Akron, Jesse Schultz, News 5. Wow, Jesse, I'm glad she's okay. And Akron detectives are working to determine if the suspect is involved with other similar crimes in the area. Now, if you know anything, you are encouraged to contact police.